Zulu, take point. I get it. I know you don't know. <coughs> Looking good today, sir. Hello, sir. need to panic. Where is he? Where's the Sheik? It's a busy day for him. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? You... You are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How but now? You killed Cobb, Navikov, Karoo. Oh, the Washington twin. Everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting... 
facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die for seven minutes. It was unexpectedly fast. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. 47. Finish it. Grumpy one always wants peace and quiet.